Okay, my next little project is to add acrylic area to this area of the, of the cat. Um, the white acrylic will help for areas to stand out. And then you can also tone the acrylic down once after you've done that as well. So let's get on with that and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, what I tend to use, see this old tatty tube I've got here, look, of um, Windsor Newton Galleria acrylic. That works quite well for me. I do find that some acrylic paints tend not to be as bright or not quite as easy to lay down over the top of a watercolour and this is the one I prefer to use, it's titanium white and it works really well. So putting a blob of that into an old plastic mixing palette, as everybody knows who watches my videos I tend to use ceramic palettes for the watercolour but um, the plastic ones are ideal because once it's all dry in there you can just peel it out with the thumbnail and, uh, and clean it off again afterwards. I've got two mixes of acrylic here, so it's obviously the same paint, but one is watered down more than the other, so this one won't be quite as bright as this one once it's on the paper, because even though it's opaque, um, it will still kind of blend in a little bit more once it's watered down more. So I'll just show you how I do that. Right, okay. When you apply paint onto your brush, this is a very old detailed brush. The problem with acrylic paint is that it can ruin the brushes, so your best bet is to use an old brush that you've got and as you can see I've used this quite a lot and if you just brush some of that off a little bit you'll end up with a little chiseled edge on your brush. See it's thinner that end compared to that side so that will enable you to get the finer lines so just protect the paper with my piece of paper there the painting paper because I don't want to get oils off my hands onto the painting and using very fine lines you're able to get a little bit of acrylic on here and vary in the strokes of thickness and direction. As I mentioned, the beauty about this as well is that you are able to uh, tone it down a little bit or add a little bit of colour over the top because, as I said before, acrylic paint tends to not wash away, it stays put, whereas watercolour paint you try putting a layer over the top of it, that's your white acrylic, sorry, white watercolour, it will just disappear or go very muddy. Um, this is ideal for layering over the top. So if I just do a few areas here, now come back to me in a minute and I'll show you how I would just tone that down a little bit, just to kind of add a bit more colour to it. So I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, now let's get back to uh, Winnie the cat. So what I need to do on Winnie now is just um, tone this area down here because obviously got white acrylic there. And so as I mentioned, I can use watercolor white over the top to uh, just kind of knock it back a little bit and to add a bit more color to it as well. So if I just do that now, so you can see what I mean, using a piece of paper to put my hand on, I'll just zoom into there for you. Okay, so all I need to do is just kind of knock this area back a little bit. Let's take some of that paint off. A bit too much paint on my brush. Just to tone it down, that's all I want to do. So I want the white acrylic to show through still, but I also want to kind of tone it down that little bit in certain places. Don't want it too kind of stark and white in places. So I'll knock this back here as well using the same colour, which is Roland and Burnt Sienna just to knock it back a little bit and here as well and believe it or not that is about it so that will give you some ideas on the benefits for using white acrylic and floating as I would call it watercolor white over the top so there you go it's as simple as that yeah right I know but well, give it a go and let me know how you get on and above all leave a comment let me know what you're up to and um, if you're trying out my techniques. Talk to you soon. Bye.